What's up, Rohami? I'm Jacob Campana. And I'm Kaylee Hill. And, and GPA TV starts right, right now. now. Spanish Club is hosting a chips and salsa contest on Wednesday during high school lunch. Please pre prepare a homemade salsa dish and drop it off at room 3219 in the morning. There will be prizes for the winners and free samples for those entering the contest. Other than that, there's $1 samples for students and staff. You should check it out. Yeah. Attention girls interested in playing basketball this year. We will start tryouts and practice today from 5.30 to 7.30 in the gym. Please bring water, basketball shorts, and basketball shoes. Girls and boys soccer tryouts will be on Monday, November 14th through Thursday, November 7th from 3.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. at the Vista Sports Park. Please bring athletic shoes, shin guards, and plenty of water. No soccer experience is necessary. We're looking for athletes with positive attitudes who are looking to join a fantastic group of girls or boys. If you are playing soccer at the fall, you cannot attend tryouts. Please contact Coach Greg directly to let him know. Now for a new story by Mina Delgado on basketball. What's up, Guahomi? I'm Mina, and today I'm going to interview a couple of the boys from the boys' basketball team, so let's get into it. I'm here with... Kayvon. Kyle. William Gamez. Christian Garrett. So, how long have you been playing basketball for? Uh, since I was three. Um, this is my fifth year playing basketball. I've been playing for four years since my freshman year. Um, I started the freshman year of high school. And does it take a lot of experience to be good at playing basketball? Um, to be good at basketball, yeah, but to start basketball, no. Not necessarily, but if you have experiences, it's, it's better for you. And, I mean, it, also if you're pretty athletic, it kind of helps. Um, yeah, it does. Um, at first, when I started, uh, I learned that I wasn't the, like, the best player. But after practicing, um, I got better and better, and I eventually um, got where I wanted to be. And is it hard working with others sometimes and using teamwork? Um, I think it's not really hard. As long as you um, help uh, your teammate out, um, they'll help you. So yeah. I think so. It's, uh, it's different. You have to trust people that you don't really know how to trust, and you can get mad at them really easily. Definitely, especially the younger teammates, because I've been playing for so long, and I've had more experience in them. It's hard trying to teach them stuff, and they not learning it right away. It kind of gets frustrating, and it kind of takes up a lot of time, but I mean, it's a work in progress. Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, having to sync everyone's emotions and um, hustle into the game is definitely hard to work with sometimes. And how often do you practice? We practice three times a week, and then we have a game on every weekend. Do you practice on your own time? Uh, yeah. Uh, on the weekends, I usually go to the gym and I'll get some shots up. Um, but that's usually all I do on my own. Um, a week, I practice like four times. And for how long? Um, when I have practice with the team, it's about two hours. And at home, it's about like an hour. That's all for this interview. Have a great day, Guahomi. episode of Crazy Time with Ty and Bella. Yo, what's up, girl homie? It's your host, Ty. And I'm your co-host, Bella, and welcome to Turkey Time. This week, in honor of the holiday, we're having a special Thanksgiving-themed episode. All right, to start here, some fun facts about Thanksgiving that you probably don't know. Did you know that Thanksgiving is the second most popular holiday in America, ranked second after Christmas? Also, did you know that Jingle Bells was originally written for Thanksgiving? I did not know that. Yep. And for our last fact, did you know that the night before Thanksgiving is the biggest drinking night of the year, beating out St. Patrick's Day and New Year's Eve? So be careful out there. For sure. All right, we all know that, that the day after Thanksgiving is one of the most crazy ones of the year. Shoppers everywhere scramble to find the best deal for items they most likely don't need. 
This day is known as Black Friday. As shoppers can get crazy sometimes on Black Friday, and we all know it can be funny or dangerous, but here's some clips of some shoppers getting wild. The man dash into a wall. Despite several people falling to the ground, shoppers charged ahead, fixated. <laughs> Now for our Thanksgiving cooking hacks instead of health tips because I really can't tell you guys to not eat Thanksgiving dinner. You can use a pearl necklace as a neat pie crust design. If you're having biscuits, use a wine glass to cut out the shapes. And if, you have a tr if, you're, and if you're having trouble peeling potatoes, you can boil them first and then the skin will come right off. And the last tip for a cheap and easy dessert, cut an apple in half and fill it with caramel, then freeze it. it sounds really good. Yeah, it does. All right, that's all the time we have for today, go homie. I hope all of you have a delicious Thanksgiving. This has been Turkey Time. Yum, yum. Now back to the studio. studio. <laughs> uh, boys basketball tryouts will be held November 14th through November 17th from 9 to 12 p.m. You must have a physical and athletic packet to try out. Please see Mr. Mormon if you have any questions. Students interested in wrestling, join us today in the Wellness Center at 305. Please bring regular PE gear. Well, that's all for today, Guahomi. This has been Kaylee Hill and Jacob Campana signing, signing out. out.